Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to be talking about neuroscience again. So you might know that I've been wanting to do a few of these kind of neuroscience videos for a while. I've done one already, but I figured it might be a good idea to come back to basics and give you a very, very simple basic introduction to what neuroscience is. So we can use this video as a nice kind of starting point, a stepping stone to jump off and do all the other videos kind of based on what I'm going to be talking about here. So this is going to be really simple, really straightforward. If you've had any kind of biology type education, you probably know some of this stuff, most of this stuff, all of this stuff. If you do, I'm sorry, bear with me. If you don't, this should be a nice little introduction to the topic and will help you understand all the other videos I'm going to be doing in the future. So first things first, Neuroscience, very, very simply, is the study of the structure and function of the nervous system, including the brain. I focus pretty much only on human neuroscience, but you can study it in all types of other animals too. So the nervous system is this complex network of nerves and cells that transmit signals around the body. The nervous system, it works throughout your whole body, right to your fingertips, your toes. It's not just the brain and what's going on in your head. So the nervous system is split up into different systems and they're like subsystems and subsystems. I'm going to try and explain these to you with the help of this really useful diagram. Hopefully this won't be too complicated, but let me know in the comments if I've gone too fast or too quickly or anything's too mixed up, okay? The nervous system is made up of two main systems, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain, brainstem, and spinal cord. And it's mostly responsible for processing information gathered by the peripheral nervous system, which we'll get to in a moment, and deciding the appropriate response to that. So think of the central nervous system mostly happening in your head, also happening in your spine. Think of it as like the regulator and the control center of the body. The peripheral nervous system is the part of the nervous system that spreads out across the rest of the body. It's the bit that goes down to your fingertips, all your organs, your limbs, everywhere. It collects information about the internal and external stimuli and it delivers that information to the brain or the spinal cord. And then once the information has been processed by the central nervous system, it carries it away to the other parts of the body so it can respond. So the peripheral nervous system is again split up into two systems. First, the somatic nervous system. To put this really basically, it picks up sensory information and carries it to the central nervous system. And then it carries the instructions back from the central nervous system to the various body parts. It's involved in controlling voluntary actions like moving your limbs and also reflex actions. So you know when you have to do that thing where you sit cross-legged and then the doctor hits your knee with a hammer and it kicks out? That's a reflex, and the somatic nervous system, it's in charge of that. Every time I do this with my hands, every time I do this, that's the somatic nervous system, because I'm controlling it myself. The second part is the autonomic nervous system, which controls involuntary actions, which we have no conscious control over. And you might have guessed it, but this is also split into two parts, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system controls what we like to say are your fight or flight responses. So they're the ones where you need to get ready to act or you need to do something. So the sympathetic nervous system might increase your heart rate, it might dilate your pupils, it gets you ready for action and responds to action. Then the parasympathetic nervous system on the other hand, that's usually in control during what we call like the rest and digest stage. So this is just when you might be sat around, you might be resting, it conserves energy, it slows the heart rate, it starts the processes for digesting food. And that's about it for the basics and the structure and the organisation of the nervous system. Ultimately, a lot of the systems work together. The peripheral nervous system can't work without the central nervous system. The central nervous system wouldn't get any information or be able to do anything without the peripheral nervous system. So lots and lots of working together. They're not just completely separate structures. The other really basic thing to talk about when we sort of talk about neuroscience and neurology, neurobiology, anything like that, are neurons. Neurons are the basic cells which make up the nervous system. Their specialised conduct electrochemical signals, electrical when they're travelling through the cell, chemical when they're travelling between the cells. 
Now, neurons are super interesting, and there's so much we can talk about here, and they do deserve a whole video of their own, which I'll probably do in the future. But to give you a really basic overview, this is what a neuron looks like. Here you've got the cell body with the nucleus where all the genetic information and things like that are stored. Extending from the cell body, you've got lots of dendrites here. Dendrites receive information from other neurons and they bring them into the cell body where that information is then transported down the axon. The axon is this long bit here. It's often covered in a material called myelin or sometimes you might see it referred to as myelin sheath which kind of works as an insulator and it helps speed up the transmission of information down the axon. Here at the end of the axon it'll branch off into lots and lots of different branches which all connect to other neurons and transfer information to them. The axons from one neuron connect to the dendrites of another neur neuron which connect to the which then have axons which connect to the dendrites of other neurons and you know it's like a chain. That makes sense? The places where neurons meet are called synapses and lots and lots of interesting stuff happens there. All neurons are slightly different depending on their function, you know, some have lots of dendrites, some have more axons, some have a really long axon, some have a really short axon, and there's loads and loads of variations. But that's something to talk about in another video. And there we go, that was hopefully a very quick, very basic, very, very simple introduction to the nervous system, which is studied in neuroscience. As I make more videos, I'll try and talk a lot more about the brain, um, what the brain actually is, how it works, what the different brain kind of areas do and things like that. I'll talk about how neurons share information, what happens in the synapses, how signals are, you know, transferred along the neuron and between neurons, and I'll make sure I try and put it all in a really useful context. Talking about how these basic biological functions affect who we are as people, how they affect our actions, and how they shape our society. Hopefully, we'll see. I think I can do this. <laughs> and, but for now, let me know what you thought of this video. If you have any suggestions for kind of topics around this neuroscience area or questions you want to ask me, that sort of thing, let me know them down in the comments. But for now, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon.